Learning to fly a drone as well as any other hobby is a learning process. It involves a lot of crash either from pilot error or mechanical failure, ending up most of the time fixing instead of flying. A drone jig can help minimize that failure. A drone jig simulates an actual flight only with a drone on the ground. It is used to find any abnormalities in your major components. Thus will minimize any catastrophic damage when there are failures and also a good way to practice muscle memory on the controls. I decided to build one from 3D printed parts and scraps found in my garage. First is to build the base out of boards and lumber as they are cheaper and easy to process. I drilled holes on the board to mount the jig later on. I then screwed the board on the legs. This will give the drone clearance from the ground. I added a bigger board on the bottom to prevent the whole thing from tipping. I then 3D printed the rest of the parts. I ran out of yellow, the reason the parts are a mixture of red and yellow. I started mounting the drone clamp in yellow to the top fork of the universal joint. I inserted the self-locking nut on the center block and added on the assembly. I then added the bottom fork. I also mount the rest of the clamp to make sure it's aligned.
For the shaft, I used an old bicycle air pump. I drilled a hole on it so I could attach it on a universal joint. I mount the shaft and housing bracket on the base with four screws. These brackets are essential to prevent the drone from flying off with the assembly. I used a snack container found in my recycle bin and drilled a hole on it. I then insert the pump through it and mount on the bottom bracket. Then locked it with two screws. Now it's time to mount the drone. Okay, so I'll walk you through how this contraption works. So when we increase the throttle, it should lift the quadcopter and it should be able to pitch forward, back, roll to the left, right, and then yaw also. Since um, this is a universal joint, it should be able to do both pitch and yaw. Ooh, fancy. And it could also do banking. And when we lower the throttle, it will just go back and land on this container. So that's the purpose of this guy. These guys are just 3D printed and I consider this the weakest point. If I could, I would have this machined, but due to budget constraint, we'll just deal with the 3D printed parts. So um, the chances of it breaking is there. This guy could break loose and hit the wall and all the fires of hell, uh, hopefully not. So we'll just cross fingers and fly it smoothly. It should be able to stay intact. So let's give it a try. I then plugged the power and made sure everything is clear. The only way to run this is in stabilize or alt hold mode as there is no GPS signal inside the garage. You can hear from the background loose items in my garage falling. This is how strong the thrust is. I tried playing with the pitch and roll several times. And also yaw. I 
even played with the pitch and roll combo. scary experiment. Although it's in a controlled environment, but the uh, power of the motors is its just too scary for me. Um, yeah, I think if I were to do this test again, I should put some barriers or net or some glass between me and the uh, doctor. Thank you guys for watching and if you like this video, check my other videos as well.